Hi friends and uh, I'm Samir and welcome to my second Hibernate tutorial and uh, in, tut in today's tutorial I'll be going to show you how to use the Hibernate framework to actually select the data from the database table, update it and delete the record. I will also be showing you how to create a new table using Hibernate framework directly instead of using the SQL query. So now let's begin. This is the last program we did in our last tutorial uh, where we wrote a program to insert a data into a database table. Now let's see uh, the existing data in my database table. Select asterisk from employee run I have two records with 9 ID 9 and ID 10 and it contains both both the record contains the same value now now I'm going to write a program to select the data from my database table and display it now the configuration file and the mapping file remains the same the configuration file I have removed the transaction uh, the two one line of code for the JDBC transaction because it's not necessary and everything remains the same and we don't need this so I just have in my configuration file I have connection to the database I have auto commit set to false and I have the SQL query generated for displaying the SQL query I have three properties and then I have my mapping file uh, set to emp.hbm.xml and this is my configuration file and my hibernate mapping file is just the same as it was for my first tutorial in my first tutorial and I'm going to be using the same table which we created in the first tutorial and update the record delete the record and select the record from the same table so beginning this tutorial first uh, I already have an insert employee.java class uh, in which where we can insert the data in our class now I'm going to create a new what you call class where I can select the data from my database table so I say new class and the class name is going to be select employee emp and it's going to have a public static void main and then I'll finish it now I have a new class and I have to write the new class now first thing I have to write is the configuration like I said the four lines for this four lines remains the same the four objects the configuration the session factory object the session object and the transaction object so I'm going to copy this five lines of code and copy it and paste it in my select program now that I have copied this file lines of code configuration object is used to configure my hibernate file and then I have the session factory which contains a pool of connections and then the session factory where I can specify whether I should update delete or save the data and then finally I have transaction objects which specifies if I have to commit the transaction or I have to roll back etc so I have these four objects copied from my first program the insert employee.java program and paste it in my select employee.java program now going further uh, what I want I'll be doing here is I want to load a record in my employee uh, pojo class my employee pojo class it's here employee.java it contains ID name mobile email now I want to load my this row this record the tenth record in my pojo class so how I can do that now beginning that first I have to create an employee object so e employee control space employee object EMP equals now there are two methods for actually loading the data in my pojo class the first method is the load method and the second method is called the get method and these two methods are available in the session class now I'll tell you the difference between the load and the get method uh, after just I explain you but for now these two methods are used to load the data so right now I'm using the load method and s.load 
control space and it has two arguments the first argument stands for where am I supposed to load my it, it stands for the POJO class and my POJO class is employee so it's employee dot class and the second argument stands for the value of the identifier column which I need now what do I mean by identifier column by identifier column I mean the column which I declared using in my hibernate mapping file using ID see all the other columns are created as property 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 but the first the primary key column I created it as ID so this ID stands for the identifier column so in the select in the load uh, what you call method the second argument stands for the uh, what you call identifier column value so it wants to give uh, it, uh, this load method wants the user to give some identifier column value now I have to uh, um, I, in my ID column I have with values 9 and 10 so it wants me to give one of these values so based on this value it has to load the whole row in my POJO class now for example if I give ID value 9 um, so it's going to ro uh, load this row number 9 in my what you call POJO class so I say new well, right here new integer integer of I say 10 and also I need to type cast this into employee type type cast as employee this is finished now it load the what you call the record in my POJO class now the second method which we had was the get method now the difference between the load and get I'll show you in a while now just now with this the loading is done and I have actually have my record now loaded in my employee project class so for displaying I use the methods emp dot what he calls wait public static sorry 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 print uh, system dot out dot print capital S system dot out dot print lm and there I have I actually run the method uh, get emp dot get and uh, it's going to be get id and then I close it and then I copy this because I have to repeat this four times for the four records control c and tap tap and sorry control v tap control v and tap control v now I'm gonna write here get name get mobile and lastly get email alright done this is finished and then finally I have to close my session object so as dot close I don't need to commit any transaction now let's run this and check how what we get the result as now run as Java application and let's see save this and let's see what output we get see I'm getting the value of my tenth record the hibernate and it has a record uh, what do you call Samir 999 and my email address now it displayed my 10th record now since in my database table I had both records having same values I'll insert a new record with different values so we get a clear view of what we did so I'm using my insert employee.java class and there I'm going to insert a new record with record number ID 11 and name is gonna be Bob and number is going to be instead of 9998A sorry it's uh, 888 and Bob some email at gmail now I'm going to run this application Java application save this 
and it successfully what you call record is inserted and we can check that here run this and I have the 11th record with this values now in my select program I want to display the 11th record instead of the 10th one so I'm gonna change it to 11 here and I'm going to run it again run as Java application and there you go let's see what value we get now so you are getting BOB Bob 888 Bob email address so it's working perfectly now the second way you can actually create or uh, what you call load the data is of using the get method now I'm going to show you the difference between the load method and the get method now Uh, the, dif uh, the difference between the get method and the load method is load method should be only used when we are sure that the identifier column which we are going to search here is available in the database table because if we enter a value which does not exist in the database table the load method actually what you call uh, shows an error unrecoverable error for example if I want to search ID 0 which is not existing in my database table I have only 9, 10, 11 and run this program I'll get an unrecoverable error save it and see my console I got exception in main thread not found object exception and etc now what does the get method does it the get method if our uh, recall gives us a null value so we can actually catch the null exception and handle it so that's the difference between load and get method now if I write get method I'll get a null exception which specifies that the record which we are searching in our database table does not exist so whenever we are in doubt that the value which we are searching or the record which we are searching that value or record does not exist we must compulsorily use the get method if we are 100% sure that the column we are going to search, the record which we are going to search, will be there in the database table, we generally use the load method. So now I changed it to my get method and I'm running the same program and I'm search select trying to select a, what you call record which does not exist in my database table. Now I'm running this as Java application, save it and then let's see what we get see I got null pointer exception so it clearly specifies that this value does not exist so I'm getting a null pointer exception so the logic is whenever we are sure that the record which we are going to search will be there for us uh, will be available then we have to use the load method if we are unsure that the record will be going to search may or may not be existing in the table we use the get method and we have to handle the null exception now this is all about get and load method av available for us for loading the data in the what you call POJO class now briefly explaining you what we did we loaded a record by using get method or load method now I show you get method works for now I want to see record number 11 which exists in my table uh, get and load methods work the same if the record is existing I'll get my record properly so run as Java application save it and see this is the output I have getting I'm getting the value properly but uh, the only difference is when the record does not exist we have to use get uh, means we are unsure of that record may exist or may not exist we use the get method if we are sure that the record we uh, the, uh, we will be searching or looking for or we are going to load will be there then we use the load method so this is the basic difference between the load and the get method now this is our all we uh, need to this is about the select program and this is the select employee program now going further next thing we are going to do is write an update program to update record in our database so for that I'm going to create a new go to a new class and then I say update employee EMP and it's going to have public static void main and then I'll finish it now the starting 
I'm, this is my select program and the starting six lines of course is going to be the same so, uh, copy this and I'm going to paste it in my update program tab and control V now I am supposed to load the record you know what this is for this is for this line is for loading the record uh, which I used in my last program for selecting now I have to load the pro uh, load a record which I am I am going to update so for example I want to update my record number 10 and I want to change my mobile number to 0 now what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to load the record which I want in my POJO class so this is how we load the data we have the get method and the load method to load the data in our POJO class so right now I'm using get method and the record number which I want to load is the identifier value is 10 so I'm loading this and this is loaded by this line now I want to update it so what I do simply is emp dot what you call emp dot set mobile and I'm going to write set it to 0 and finish then I have s dot update emp and then tx dot commit and then I have s dot close finally and finish this is all I need to do whatever whatever what you call column I need to update I have to write the object I have to update it in my POJO class uh, like I wanted to update my mobile so I used my POJO class object and updated the mobile value in my POJO class and then finally I say as that update and it actually creates an update query now if you see we have as dot save we have save save our update and we have update alright so do, if you remember in our insertion program we used as dot save now what save does it it actually always creates an insert query whenever I, I use the session object save session method save it does what it does it creates an insert query and inserts something in my database table for example I'll show you I'll insert a new record record number 12 and with name what you call John J O H N and some value and J alright I'm going to insert this record using save query so what save query does it it always creates a query hibernate framework creates a query which is of insert type insert into something now I'm going to run this program as Java application this is the first program which we did in the first tutorial and uh, run as Java application save them everything and there you go you have insert query now why do I have insert query is because I use the save statement now in my update program when I'm using an update statement it must it, it always creates an update query so now I'm updating my what you call run this again see I have the 12th one I'm updating my 10th uh, 10th mobile to 0 right yeah 10th uh, record identifier column value to 0 uh, identifier columns mobile value to 0 alright so what I wanted to tell was update always create what you call update query and the save statement as that save always creates insert query now I'm running this as Java application and uh, maximize this see you have an update query created update employee set ename mobile email where ID is 0 now check whether the values are updated in our database what I updated was I updated my mobile 999999 to 0 so I'm going to run again alright run alright so now I have the updated value 0 so this is my update program and it's pretty much say it's what you call similar to my select program the only thing is I use s.update to update the value 
which I'm interested and first I set for what I do, do in my update program is first I wrote uh, load the record which I want to get updated now in this case it was my tenth record or the identifier value of the record which I wanted to update row which I wanted to update was 10 and I load that row in my Pojo class and the object name is EMP and then the record which I want to update or the column value which I want to update I set it to my desired value and then I use the session method update to actually update create an update query and then actually update it I didn't use as that flush over here uh, but you should use flush anyways uh, as that save as that close okay as dot flush comes after this statement I just forgot it as dot flush all right and then there you are and I have updated my tint column run this all right so now now flush object is uh, actually used for synchronization with the database so it is actually very necessary when you're writing some big programs and stuff so flush actually helps you to synchronize with your database that is recent values and stuff and so that's why you should always use the flush method and this is pretty much the update program now the last uh, what do you call the other next program which we are going to do is the delete program which is you may guess similar and now I say new what do you call class and I'm going to create create delete or delete EMP class and it's going to have main method and I'm going to finish it now I'm going to copy the what do you call this all uh, same code the whole code and from the starting of the configuration to close up my update program I'm copying this code and pasting in my delete program paste it and the only thing now first I have my database table this is my database table and I want to know which record I want to delete for example I want to delete my record number 9 with mobile 999 the first record so what I'm going to do I have to load that record in my Pojo class so I want to change I'm loading the ninth identifier value record row in my Pojo class and then since I told you s dot update uses update query so you may guess s dot delete uses delete query all right so now it will our query the hibernate framework will create a delete query and will delete the record um, which is record number nine the whole row and that's how you use the delete method now run as ja what do you call java application and save it and there you go it created delete from as I said it created a delete query and now if I check my database I had this row which is going to be deleted when I press the run refresh it or in other way I'm going to refresh it so now the ninth ID row is gone so it's deleted now I want to tell you one thing as we have seen the save method first created insert query and then the what do you call update method created the update query and then the delete method what do you call created a delete query all right so now there is another method called save or update method save or update method which sorry save or update method and what you call this method is used like if you want to update something which does not exist or for example I'll write this in my save pro update program it's better this way I'll re uh, I would call leave my delete program to same as it is and in my update I'll change my update to save or update all right save or sorry save or update all right and save or update it is and I'm changing now what I'm doing is I want to update my ninth 
what you call identifier or ninth row now in my database I just deleted my ninth row using my delete program so it does not exist so what saver update does is if my what you call row which I want to update does not exist it will create a new row so let's see I'm running this as Java application alright okay and see what happens exception in mail oh null pointer select from employee where employee is okay so load employee select employee ID employee name, name okay from employee alright now check my database run this and I don't have a value it didn't insert anything now this program just now didn't work because we use save or update method and we are not actually saving it the what save or update method means is when I'm inserting a data and it uh, actually exists in the what you call database table it is supposed to be updated right now I do not have any what you call integer 9 so I can load this means I, I can not load an actual value my employee is it can't load what is empty so for that purpose we can use this this way we have to simply create an employee new and um, what do you call empty constructor and then I have to set the ID to what you call now ID to 10 10 exists oh sorry 9 9 doesn't exist wait 9 check my 9 check my 9 alright ninth column does not exist and then I'm going to say EMP dot set my name to what you call uh, let's say Brad Pitt alright and set EMP dot set my mobile to one 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 and set emp dot set email to radpit at gmail dot com all right and now now what I'm going to do what this saver update does it will check if ID nine already exists in my database table if it does it uh, updates or changes the value it has to these values if it does not it will create a new one so based on the choices it will either create an insert query or either create an update query so I'm running this program run as Java application save it and it's supposed to create an insert query yes insert into employee ename mobile and this thing now check our database refresh it and there you go you have 91 ID 9 with Brad 111 and bradpit at gmail.com now what I want to do is I want to what do you call insert again set ID 9 and I want to change now name to perform Brad to I'm gonna change it to Brad Pitt alright so now let's see let me see what it does according to the concept it should or it will create what you call an update query since record number 9 already exists and I'm saying save or update so it will update what you call the change values and the change value is the name it was Brad before uh, let's see it's Brad here and now I'm going to change it to Brad Pitt so I'm gonna run this program as Java application and this time it will create an update query save this and check it out see I have update employee set ename mobile email now let me refresh this run this uh, sorry run this and there you have my name changed from Brad to Brad Pitt so this is what uh, what what you call save or update query is all about I hope you understood this part now moving on the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a table which does not exist using the hibernate framework alright for that we need our configuration file now let me open let me close all this delete update select my Pojo class my insert and now this is my configuration file 
all right in my configuration file so that I can create a table directly using my mapping file see everything about my database table is available in my mapping file like table name it should be this and it already exists but imagine a case where my employee table does not exist in my database and I need to create it so what I'm telling is I have enough what you call knowledge about my table in my mapping file so that I can create a table directly for example I want to have an employee table it has a primary key or identifier as ID column name ID and which is a type integer so it can understand that it has to be type number and then name which is of type string mobile type long sorry column mobile type long email type string so it has everything and these are supposed to be the column names if I'm going to create a table using my mapping configurations now in my hibernate.configuration file I have connection auto commit false and SQL query to be generated and the mapping file now what I'm going to do is I have to insert something a new property to actually or they call allow me or they call used creating table What I'll do first is I'll delete my existing employee table. So I'm writing drop table employee. All right, and then I run this table dropped. And if I write select star from employee, run this table does not exist. So now I have deleted my table and I want to create the table without writing any SQL query but using my hibernate configuration file or hibernate framework so I use there's a property name called property All right name is hibernate mapping All right to data definition language dot automatic and now this is a property name and the property value it can have are two values the first one is the create value and the second one is the update value and I'll be telling you the difference between them so for now we use the create value alright and then what I'll do now is save my file and then I'm going to what you call go open my insert employee program and I'll insert record number one alright set ID one now I'm going to run my what you call insert employee.java run as Java application okay and uh, let's see what do I get in my console insert employee insert employee now as you remember I drop my table in my database so select star for employee displayed was table or view does not exist I'm running this query again and wait I should run it second time yes I have one John mobile 888 the values ju I just inserted now this table was created using the mapping file the column names and table name I am what you call I what you call configured in my mapping file and based on that my table was created and the values was inserted now I said just now that there are two values this hibernate mapping to data definition language can have the first one was create and the second one is update now the create what it does it it whenever I use create whenever I insert a new whenever I try to insert something in my existing database table it deletes everything in that table and inserts a new record that means I have my inserted just now my uh, record number one and if I insert record number two it will delete the record number one and only record number two will be there in my table so it, it actually deletes the whole thing whenever I run a new query so for this uh, demonstrating that I'm inserting record number two with name Paul and then set, let the mobile be same and say p the gmail.com at the rate of gmail.com and now I'm going to run this what happened last time was when I inserted data like this like 
it was just added in my database table now but now since I'm using this hibernate to data definition language and I'm using its value as create what it does this time is it drops the old value and it only inserts this new value which I'm inserting now so run as Java application and save this and let's see what do I get this is successful and let's see our database now in general scenario what used to happen was I used to get the record number two with Paul 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 but now since I use the create value I'll only get two the first record is automatically deleted so to avoid that problem we have the second value for this what you call where is the configuration file okay configuration file alright we have the second value which is update now the update also creates a table the same way as create but when you insert the next record it does not create what you call delete the old record so that's the difference between update and create now for checking it out I'll drop my table again drop table employee and run this query and run it table dropped select star from employee table or view does not exist now uh, what I'll do is I have created this to update I'm inserting insert employee.java and as you can see till now we created insert employee.java select employee update employee and delete employee now I'm going to set ID one first record with name Paul 888 p at uh, p at rate of gmail.com and I'm going to run this insert program as Java application save it and now let's see what values do I get now uh, refresh this run this again I have record number one now I'm trying to insert record number two with name Peter what do you call Peter all right Peter at the rate of gmail.com all right and now uh, this is my second record when I used create as you people saw it dropped the old record and it just inserted the new record but since I'm using update I'll get the both the records normally as insertion has to happen run as Java application okay and let's see check the console what happened okay yeah it inserted successfully and now I'm checking out my database using run it again see now I have two values so that's the difference between what do I say update and create in hibernate mapping to data definition language automatic all right and so that's all for today's tutorial and probably in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to use discriminator or what you call columns and have discriminator values and thank you for watching today's tutorial and that's it thank you